While the world crowned Dubai's Burj Khalifa as the final word in skyscraper engineering, something far more radical is quietly rising in the desert. Hit that subscribe button, because this isn't just about height. It's about how Saudi Arabia is quietly building a skyscraper that should be impossible, and why it could change the skyline of the planet forever. In the vast arid stretches of Saudi Arabia, where the endless desert sand meets the shimmering waters of the Red Sea, a monumental feat of human ambition is slowly coming to life. Once dismissed as a pipe dream, an unfinished concrete skeleton looming on the edge of Jeddah, the Jeddah Tower is making a triumphant return. What had been a project of unfathomable scale and unreachable heights is now inching closer to its monumental completion. More than a decade has passed since construction first began, but now after a prolonged hiatus, the tower is once again rising to meet the heavens. Upon its completion, this vertical giant will stand as the tallest structure humanity has ever built, eclipsing Dubai's Burj Khalifa by an enormous margin. While its final height remains tightly sealed in secrecy, early estimates suggest the Jeddah Tower could soar to heights beyond 1,000 meters, potentially even reaching 1.7 kilometers above sea level, setting a new benchmark in the annals of human engineering. For years, the tower sat dormant, its foundation solid, its spires unfinished, like a colossal symbol of halted ambition. But in late September, whispers of progress surfaced. Construction had resumed, and fresh names, including Sweden's Skanska and Samsung CNT from South Korea, were now in the race to finish what once seemed an impossible feat. The buzz surrounding its revival was palpable. The dream was no longer buried, but the road ahead remained steep and fraught with obstacles as experts and critics alike continue to question whether this tower will ever reach the sky. Building a tower of this height is simply not a matter of stacking bricks higher than anyone has done before. It is an intricate battle of gravity, wind, and the relentless passage of time. Before one can even think about reaching the sky, one must first conquer the earth beneath. At over a kilometer tall, the Jeddah Tower will weigh an astonishing 900,000 tons, roughly equivalent to the weight of the Golden Gate Bridge. Such immense mass demands a foundation of unparalleled strength and precision. However, the ground in Jeddah is notoriously unforgiving. Soft limestone, shifting sands, and loose gravel. The region's geological instability made the task all the more daunting. To support this monumental weight, engineers installed a network of 270 reinforced concrete pilings, some of which reach as deep as 110 meters into the earth, twice the depth of the Burj Khalifa's foundation in certain sections. This meticulous and painstaking process took months, ensuring that the tower would rest on a bedrock that could withstand the immense forces it would soon bear. The shape of the tower was designed with a function in mind. Architect Adrian Smith, known for his work on the Burj Khalifa, chose a triangular Y design for the Jeddah Tower. This configuration, resembling the spine of an animal, allows the structure to stabilize itself under extreme stress, minimizing material waste while maximizing efficiency. It's a perfect marriage of form and function, where even the shape of the tower helps defy the limitations of gravity. Construction on the foundation began in 2013, with over 100 workers laboring day and night, six days a week. The sheer scale of the task was evident from the start. The foundation alone took six months to complete, a small fraction of the work still to come. Building this tall requires not only a perfect foundation, but also a careful selection of materials. Concrete, known for its strength and cost-effectiveness, is the backbone of the tower's lower sections. However, there's a significant limitation. Concrete pumping, the most common method for raising concrete in high-rise buildings, can only effectively pump it vertically to about 500 meters. Beyond that, the process becomes prohibitively slow, and crane buckets must be employed, adding complexity and time to the construction. As a result, the upper sections of the tower will be built using steel similar to the method employed for the final stages of the Burj Khalifa. A staggering 500,000 cubic meters of concrete and nearly 880,000 tons of steel will be used in the structure's construction. To put that in perspective, that's more than 10 times the weight of the Eiffel Tower in steel alone. And that's just the structure. At the top of the tower, a 350 meter spire will rise, housing mechanical systems that will maintain the tower's operations. This spire is more than a mere aesthetic feature. 
It is a finishing touch that will allow the Jeddah Tower to carve its place in history as the tallest structure ever created by mankind. As the Jeddah Tower ascends towards its record-breaking height, it must contend with one of the most significant challenges posed by nature itself, the wind. Standing at 1,000 meters, even a modern gust has the potential to exert an immense amount of force on the building. However, the winds faced by the tower will not merely be light breezes. The tower is designed to withstand fierce gusts that can reach speeds far beyond those found at ground level. In fact, the engineering team used state-of-the-art wind modeling and simulation software to predict the tower's response to high-altitude winds. Their findings revealed that the top of the tower could sway by up to 2 meters during the strongest gusts, an amount that is both surprising and incredibly challenging from an engineering standpoint. While this degree of sway might seem alarming at first glance, it's important to recognize that the building's sway is actually a vital part of its design. The sway helps to dissipate the kinetic energy caused by the wind, preventing the structure from experiencing undue stress. However, this phenomenon also presents a challenge for human comfort. After all, no one wants to feel as though they are inside a structure that is moving uncontrollably. To address this, the Jeddah Tower's architects and engineers have gone to great lengths to ensure that occupants will never notice the movement of the building. The tower's asymmetrical shape, in combination with a sophisticated system of internal bracing, allows the structure to absorb and neutralize the forces exerted by the wind. The use of advanced damping systems further enhance this effect so that even during the strongest winds, the sway will be barely perceptible to those inside. The precision of the engineering behind this building cannot be overstated. As one of the engineers involved in the project said, you're not just building a tower, you're building a sail, and you have to make sure it doesn't fly away. This metaphor underscores the immense skill and foresight required to create a building that can withstand nature's fury while ensuring the comfort and safety of its occupants. Saudi Arabia's extreme heat, with summer temperatures regularly surpassing 40 degrees Celsius, presents yet another monumental challenge for the Jeddah Tower. Maintaining comfort within such extreme conditions requires a careful balance between advanced building systems and energy conservation. Air conditioning, of course, will be essential to keeping the tower habitable. However, the designers of the Jetta Tower sought to minimize the building's reliance on artificial cooling systems, incorporating energy-efficient features directly into the facade to reduce the need for constant mechanical cooling. To achieve this, the exterior of the Jetta Tower has meticulously been designed with the sun's path in mind. The tower's walls feature strategic notches and carvings that create self-shading surfaces ensuring that specific areas of the building stay cool throughout the day even without the aid of air conditioning. The use of low emissivity glass on the building's exterior further enhances this cooling process. This type of glass reflects infrared heat, preventing the building from absorbing excess thermal energy, which helps maintain a more consistent internal temperature. The tower's shape also plays a significant role in promoting passive cooling. By carefully shaping the building's surfaces and layout, the architects were able to create natural airflow patterns that reduce the amount of heat absorbed into the structure. This careful consideration of the surrounding environment allows the building to stay cooler with less energy output. The integration of these sustainable technologies not only makes the Jetta Tower an environmentally conscious project, but also sets a new standard for energy efficient skyscrapers in the Middle East. This commitment to sustainability is at the core of the tower's design, representing the future of architectural development in extreme climates. By blending advanced engineering with eco-friendly technologies, the Jetta Tower stands as a beacon of how modern skyscrapers can be both technologically innovative and environmentally responsible. When completed, the Jetta Tower will not simply be an architectural marvel. It will be a self-contained vertical city designed to accommodate a full range of residential, commercial, and recreational spaces. The tower will feature 530 luxury apartments, 200 hotel rooms, and state-of-the-art office spaces all housed within its towering structure. In fact, the Jetta Tower will house more people than some small towns, creating a dense vertical ecosystem that aims to combine the best aspects of urban living with the cutting-edge amenities of the future. Among the most impressive features of the tower will be the world's highest observation deck, situated a breathtaking 630 meters above sea level. From this vantage point, visitors will enjoy panoramic views of Jeddah and the Red Sea, 
creating an unforgettable experience for anyone fortunate enough to visit. Yet, what truly sets the Jeddah Tower apart is its focus on mobility. With a population of thousands living and working within the building, efficient vertical transportation will be the key to ensuring that the tower operates smoothly. To facilitate this, the tower will be equipped with 57 high-speed elevators, capable of reaching speeds of up to 10 meters per second. A ride from the base to the top of the tower will take less than 100 seconds, allowing residents and workers to move quickly between levels. To address the challenges presented by the immense height of the building, traditional steel cables won't be used for the elevators above 500 meters. Instead, carbon fiber cables, which are lighter and stronger than steel, will be employed. This innovative use of carbon fiber allows the elevators to travel higher and faster, reaching up to 600 meters with the capacity to carry up to 26 passengers at a time. These high-tech elevators will be more than just a means of transport, they will become vital arteries in the tower's vertical city, seamlessly connecting the various levels and ensuring the tower operates efficiently. The design of the Jetta Tower truly represents the future of urban development where entire cities can thrive in the sky, eliminating the need for sprawling horizontal development while pursuing valuable land for other purposes. As the tower reaches towards the clouds, it will not only serve as a symbol of Saudi Arabia's commitment to innovation, but also as a model for future skyscrapers around the world, blending advanced engineering, sustainability, and urban living into a single cohesive vision. The price of monumental feats like the Jeddah Tower is not solely measured in financial figures. While the Burj Khalifa set the bar for modern architectural achievement, reaching a staggering $1.5 billion price tag, its sheer scale and engineering feats extend far beyond monetary investment. The building itself was a testament to the limits of construction technology and ambition requiring 7,500 workers and consuming an immense 36 megawatts of power during peak operational usage. These numbers highlight the immense resources needed to bring such an ambitious project to life, underscoring the unseen cost of progress in terms of labor, energy, and materials. Yet, as the Jeddah Tower, slated to surpass the Burj Khalifa's height rises, it prompts critical conversations about the future of super-tall buildings. The project, expected to exceed $2 billion in cost, faces similar scrutiny over its economic and physical feasibility with concerns surrounding the environmental impact and sustainability of such towering structures. The Jetta Tower isn't just a quest to break records, but also an exploration of whether such immense projects can be responsibly executed without compromising long-term environmental and economic balance. Industry veterans like renowned French architect Jerome Quayreau warned that humanity's drive to build ever taller structures may soon hit its limit. Quaverell has raised valid concerns regarding the increasing material demands and the mounting labor challenges faced by projects over 1,500 meters. The sheer scale of these structures, designed to scrape the sky, is already pushing the boundaries of existing technologies. While the Burj Khalifa made history as the first building to break the symbolic barrier of 800 meters, the Jetta Tower aims to redefine these limits reaching a height that demands unprecedented advancements in both engineering and sustainability. The question remains whether these projects, though monumental in scope, are feasible in the long term. Are the materials and energy demands of buildings surpassing the 1,500 meter mark sustainable? Can the immense resources required to complete such buildings be justified, not just for economic success, but for the overall health of the planet? And most importantly, are we truly ready to bear the price, both seen and unseen, of ambition on such a colossal scale? The need for more efficient construction materials, energy efficient systems, and considerations for long-term operational sustainability will only grow as these skyscrapers continue to break records. And as these towering giants reach for the skies, we must ask, what are the true costs of pushing the boundaries of engineering, and at what point does the price of ambition become too high? To skeptics, the Jetta Tower may seem like nothing more than a vanity project, a mere attempt to claim the title of the world's tallest building, but to others, it represents something far more profound, a statement of ambition for a region redefining its future. The Middle East has long been a hotbed of architectural innovation, with cities like Dubai and Doha becoming symbols of modernity. With the Jetta Tower, Saudi Arabia aims to prove that it is a global leader in the pursuit of engineering excellence. If completed, it will not only reshape the skyline of Jeddah, 
but will inspire a new wave of architectural feats around the world. The tower is more than just a structure. It is a testament to humanity's unyielding desire to reach for the stars, no matter the obstacles in its path. Whether it becomes the last of the record-breaking skyscrapers, or the first of a new era remains to be seen. But one thing is clear, the story of the Jeddah Tower is far from over. As the Jeddah Tower reaches for the sky, whispers of future projects are already emerging, some suggesting that buildings taller than 1,500 meters are already being planned. Sky bridges connecting massive towers, suborbital elevators, and even floating cities are no longer confined to the realm of science fiction. These ideas are being quietly tested, modeled, and brought closer to reality. The technologies that make the Jeddah Tower possible, smart concrete, carbon fiber cables, and adaptive facades are just the beginning. The generation of architects will employ artificial intelligence, robotic construction teams, and materials stronger than steel to build structures that are not just buildings, but ecosystems. The future of construction will be defined by buildings that clean their own air, produce their own energy, and even grow their own food. The Jeddah Tower may be the pinnacle of human achievement, or it may be the first step into a new frontier. But either way, it is a symbol of our boundless ambition, and a sign that we are only beginning to scratch the surface of what we are capable of achieving. In the heat of the desert, the tower rises, defying the odds, and carrying the weight of human aspiration on its towering shoulders. Are we nearing the limit of what we can build, or is this just the beginning of a new era of vertical ambition? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video with us and catch you in the next one.